Hi, I am Steph, and in this video, we'll do a full walkthrough of Milestoneify. Milestoneify is a budgeting app that makes it easier to track and visualize all your incomes and costs. Also, with Milestoneify, you are able to track your net worth with assets, liabilities, and equity. Furthermore, you can set different financial goals to improve your financial situation. In this video, we'll go through all the different pages so you can get a better understanding of how to set them up for yourself. So let's get started and log in to the app. After you have created your account, you will first arrive on the overview page. In the overview page, you will see a quick summary of your current financial situation. On the top, you see your current balance, the amount of income in the last 30 days, and the cost in the last 30 days. Beneath that is a graph that shows your net worth of every month. Over time, you will be able to clearly see the increase of your net worth. Finally, you can see a view of your financial goals and the recent transactions that you have made. After the overview page, it is best to head over to the account page. In the account page, you are able to add and manage all different accounts that you have. It is important to create all different accounts so you can use them in the app. Now we go to the budget page. In the budget page, you are able to create an income, cost and recurring cost. To create a cost, you enter an amount and create or select an income type. An income type is used to categorize different types of income. Also, you need to select an account on which the amount will be added. Finally, you select a date and can add a description if you want. For the cost, the process is exactly the same. It is recommended to also create different cost types to categorize all the different costs. The income and cost will be visualized in two donut charts. Beneath these is a graph that shows you all the different incomes and cost totals of each month to get a grasp of your situation. Below the graph you see three tables in which you can see all the income, cost and recurring cost transactions. Here you are able to delete or change certain transactions that you have made. Finally, you can create the recurring cost for certain transactions that happen every month like rent or insurance. Next we will go to the investment page. On the investment page, you get an overview on how your net worth is divided between assets, liabilities and equities. All these values will be shown in the four donut charts. For every asset, liability and equity, we have made a preset of standard choices you can make to make it easier to choose from. But you are also able to create your own custom asset, liability or equity. Every category has its own table where you can see all the assets, liabilities or equities. In here, you can make changes or delete them. The value of your net worth is not only visible on this page, but also visible on the overview page above the net worth chart. After the investment page, we go to the financial goals page. In the financial goals page, you will be able to set multiple goals like paying off your house or becoming debt free. On the financial goals page, we have made multiple standard choices you can choose, but you are also able to set your own custom goal. To set the financial goal, you give a start amount and a target amount. You also set a monthly contribution and a starting date. The app will automatically calculate how long it will take to reach your goal. You can see this in the, in the card. To get a better visual view of the financial goal, you can click on view more details. This will show a graph in which you can see the progress that you have made to reach the financial goal. By clicking on the contribution button, you can, you can add an amount to the financial goal. Every contribution you make will be represented in a graph. Finally, we have the settings page. In the settings page, you are able to add and change personal information and your password and email. In here, you are also able to contact us in case you have any trouble. If you wish to cancel or change the subscription plan, you can click on the manage subscription button. This was the full walkthrough video of Milestoneify. I thank you for watching and hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future features, Feel free to contact us and don't forget to subscribe for any future videos. Thank you.